Welcome back, guys. Um, so this is the second stage of the imbalance that we were doing. Um, as you can see, they're setting well there. Um, still looks wet in places where the, the rain has been hitting it, and obviously there's no gutter on as of yet. So yeah, I just thought I would I would get this video done as there's been quite a lot of mentions about how the the other sets of bands went and. People just interested on the job and uh, whole, so I thought I would show off the the bands and when they were drying out, and the next stage of bands. As you can see, preparations already begun in the fact that we've stripped the rules off and dropped them down one. You can see this button, piece of slate and rough the whole way along the bottom. You can see that's this is the one we're going to hit now. You can see how well that's dried out. Um, again, if anybody's just watching, the big gap at the top will be covered by fascia, fascia board. And I think it's for extra ventilation and a wee bit of movement in the roof as these are timber frame houses. So you can see that it's going to be quite a nice step in them here. Get, get a nice angle. You can sort of see the steps that that's going to sort of create. Um, and obviously you want to be out past that bead because that bead's another layer again so we'll have to follow that top band the whole way around the top of the house again the only part that doesn't need done is the front that was completed in the previous bands video as you just might remember so again step down I must admit the buttons were not easy put on as some of the, the blocks there were just a wee bit off level um, which is probably not too bad in the case that Bricklayer probably found it hard to do that step he probably only had a day to get it done um, so it's probably what threw the blocks off and maybe just didn't have enough time to get to get paid for, for doing it right I don't know but yeah the, the button I know on that side was difficult so that's the stop bead guys and um, sorry it's an expansion joint so it is and that should stop the building cracking um, don't really know why there's not one on the back but you can only do what you're told so this is the the lift underneath and you can see again we're prepped here with our buttons there's a band to go in the middle here as well we're prepped with them around the 50p windows and all the way along the brick the band has to sit on this timber it doesn't have to come all the way up on the timber guys especially in some places that the block and the brick just sit slightly different so as long as we're out past our bead and it's going to be a nice step that's the main thing and um, the front will look like a continuation of the window sills as well you can see there's DPC in there actually and I know somebody was sort of saying I think it was my mate from America um, Kai he was asking about would this not create damp issues but it shouldn't be too bad in the fact that the brick underneath should be sealed and like I said I showed you a wee bit of the PVC should go in and curl up around this block and go in basically hang on goes in and curls up around behind the block so that any water even gets in should be forced back out at the bottom of the band um, I have seen these bands lasting a long long time on older houses and that's when they plastered over red brick and red brick isn't the best of grip compared to concrete block there's a lot more grip than the concrete block that I've found of when we're ever redoing things concrete block does grip a lot better than red brick. Red brick's always easier to chip off. Um, here's another wee thing, guys. Here, um, at the back, you can see it's six inches up to this sill, um, but at the front, so obviously everything has to run in line with each other. So you can't really have a step anywhere. But at the front, it's not quite six inches to follow them sills. So what we'll do is we'll work off the front. And we'll come to these backs um, instead of trying to have a wee silly strip underneath the sill I'll just work it, work it up in you'll, you'll see it later on in the video if I remember to mention about it that is so 
Yeah, it's pretty pretty good scaffold. Um, but obviously, obviously, if you're working from heights, always take care. And you can see it's quite a quite a run, quite a run of band, guys. So the reason some people might want to put a band at the top, similar to what we did at the bottom, and then strip it off. Um, but I prefer to cut these types of bands as much as you can. I find that it's just a nicer finish. Um, so and the scratcher used in this was a slightly different scratcher than the one I usually use. So this is the band of the brick all being lashed on. As you can see, it's quite a thick one. And the one at the top is actually on and rubbed already. So you can sort of see what's happening here, the depth you need to get this on with. Um, as I said in the previous video as well, that if you're doing a big amount of bands, you might want to mix up just a nice batch of sand cement. But if if we were only doing, say, one side of this house, we would mix the batch up stiffer so that we could get it on, get it rubbed, and get it cut. Whereas we're actually putting on quite a lot, so we've mixed it a bit softer so that we'll have time to continue on and get working around all these. So you can sort of see it's shaping in here. That's the continuation I was talking about between the cells. It sort of just looks like the cells continuing. Yeah, that will be cut from there. So I'll just give you a wee quick run around at the top of what, what was done previous to putting on that bottom. While I'm waiting for it to be ready to cut, you want, when you're cutting bands, you want it to tighten up a wee bit. You don't want to go at it too early. Um, you don't want to go at it too late either, because it can go crumbly in the corners. And also, really pulls the arms out of you, it's tight. But you get a, you get the feel of it now, of the shape that it's all coming in. There's the double step there. It's a pretty nice design. Um, it's, it's a wee bit different. Um, a double step band at the top and around the front windows and stuff, so it's nice. It's definitely a good design and it's something that if I was going to pebble dash a house, if I say a country type house, if I if it was my choice of the way to do it, I would probably do something similar to this at the top. And if if you were going for a pebble dash, I'd like to do something like that at the top. And the reason being, when you're in the country that birds like the nest on pebble dash houses up in the corners and stuff right onto the, the gutter and the fiasi board they use the stones as a bit of a, a foundation to build their nests where when this is smooth like this you find that it'll be much harder for them to get a grip with their nest and you find they won't bother they'll, they'll move on to the guy's house who doesn't have them but it's kind of it's the kind of day we're working with, a dull, sort of cloudy day, um, and if I'm honest, it's the kind of day I prefer doing outside work, where it's not raining, but it's not too bright, so your stuff's not going off crazy on you, and you're not rushing on it. Um, still strip them off, but they're a clean, clean button, they will come off nice, and you can see all the roof has been cleaned. It's yet to be finished as well, but... That's up to the rivers and the gutter mail. So guys, this is all cut now. Give you a wee bit of an idea of shape again. This one's quite a thick one. Wanted to make sure we beefed it out so that the coat here will just come straight in lovely to the expansion joint. You can see the expansion joint continuing on there in the red brick, the wee bit of yellow, sort of second like PVC thing. I'm not sure what its actual name is, but it's just a bit of plastic really. It probably will be siliconed over as well. And you can see how hard tidy it's sort of coming in now that it's all cut and you're getting an even further idea of the shape of things here. And this band's also nice as well, so it breaks up the, the 50p windows here. And you can see how that's a continuation of the sill. But th this might look like it's an easy job, but this is not this is not an easy job for plasters, guys, putting bands on. It's very detailed work. 
it's very slow and you may think yourself oh, it's, it's detailed and it's slow it won't tire you out as much but when you're doing detailed work like this it, it is actually quite more tiring than you think because obviously you're up and down ladders you're handing buckets maybe up and down uh, tools the cutting of it you have to hold the level on this we had to go around two of us hold the level steady keep it plumb and cut it and make sure that it doesn't move so that by the time you get to the other end of the building that you've only got a two inch band when it's supposed to be four or five six inches and um, that's the wee bit of detail there you can see where we're, we're sort of running off to the sills so this was the best way out of it uh, other than having a step at either corner it would look ridiculous and put the wee step in under all the window sills so it's sort of you sort of have to plan ahead as well guys when you're doing things like this to know what all your points are have a have a good bit of a feel of the place of what way you want it to look and what way it will look um, but we are cutting all these off actually one picture so don't have measurements or anything and we're literally going by a picture and i think we're doing a very good job on these bands we've come in tiny basically it's it's all easy from here it's just flat walls to be rubbed up and um, i don't actually have any footage of that because i was actually on holiday when that was done but i will try and get a wee bit of footage of it all painted up to show you is sort of how hard came came out compared to the the picture of the plan that way and um, so yeah just another wee quick look here but yeah they're, they're definitely a fancy fancy shaped house with a bit of detail but um yeah still will try and get that video up if i get a chance with a bit of rendering and um, a couple of videos in mind coming up and here this is the shot here i'll try and capture this when it's painted this kind of angle and sort of give you like a before and after of it all painted what it looks like from the road but thanks for watching guys if you lasted this long congratulations and i'll catch us on the next video yeah.